what's up YouTube? I'm Dex. I'm Mike. And today we're going to do a movie review for the new movie Doctor Strange. Now Doctor Strange is about uh, Benedict Cumberbatch who stars as Doctor Stephen Strange. A brilliant egotistical New York neurosurgeon who after a terrible car accident finds his hands crippled. Unable to cure his hands through modern medicine, he travels to the ends of the earth where he meets the Ancient One, played by Tilda Swinton. There he learns magic quickly and ends up battling evil forces wishing to destroy the planet. All right, so uh, what did you like about it? Okay, I didn't like much about this film. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked the visuals. I thought it was very good. I also liked the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie. You really find out that Doctor Strange is the biggest asshole in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. <laughs> Usually you have a likable person, uh -huh. but he's not. Mm -hmm. And I like the I like the transitions that they had. You know, like they really focus on his hands, right? They show that he's like an ass. You know, he won't even take he won't even try to help patients that you know could possibly he could fail in helping them, right? Mm -hmm. So I like the there's a car scene where the hands get crippled, and then after that, I felt like the movie just went downhill. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I like the um, I like the scene that had the uh, hundred hands. Okay. Uh, nightmare scene. I thought that was pretty good. I like when they were going through the portals. I like the supporting cast. I just wish that they would have used them. Better. Um, yeah, or maybe they would have just used them at all. Mm -hmm. Right. I didn't have a problem with the fact that uh, the ancient one wasn't an Asian man. Tilda Swinton. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. So they whitewashed it, but mm -hmm. I mean, that's Hollywood. I mean, get over it, people. That's what Hollywood does. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're lucky that they had an Asian in the movie Wong. Yeah. And they also had... Played by Benedict Wong. Yeah, yeah. And they also had, you know, like an African-American in the film. She would tell Edgy for. Yes. Try, so, try saying that three times. Right? Yeah. So, I like the performances. I like Benedict coming back to Doctor Strange. I thought he was very good. I thought she would tell Edgy for was good. And I did like Tilda Swinton in the movie. I thought she was a... She did a good job. Um, I also thought there was a lot of funny moments in the in the movie. I was laughing a lot, you know. Yeah, movie. for an action movie, it did have a lot of comedy. Yeah, it, it was it was surprisingly funny. I didn't I wasn't expecting it to be this funny. And then uh, I like the visual effects. Uh, they they did use a lot of Inception effects, and I did like it. So uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and also the cloak of levitation. Oh, yeah, that was the best part. Yes. The best kind of character in the movie. Yes. In fact, I think that that, that might actually that garment might actually be nominated for uh, best supporting <laughs> actor in a feature film. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> it, it did bring a lot to the movie. So, right. what didn't you like? Okay. So once again, we have a predictable story. Mm -hmm. Another thing too is the villain in this movie was so weak. Yeah, he was weak. I mean, how can you have a superhero movie and the villain, I'm just falling asleep every time I see him on the screen. Mm -hmm. Also, the fight scenes were incredibly weak. They were pointless. Mm -hmm. They reminded me of something, a fight scene you'd see on cable TV. Mm -hmm. That's how bad that they were. Um, also, I felt like they should have maybe gone a little bit more into the backstory. You know, maybe... Of the, of the of, ancient one? Of or? the ancient one, okay. or maybe, you know, some of the other characters, mm -hmm. or maybe Dr. Stephen Strange. Or like his childhood or something? Or, or just maybe explain to us, how did he become such an asshole? <laughs> I think we should supposed to already know the Yeah, ass, I just... You know? uh, the problem is, about 85% into the movie, I really, I really don't like mm -hmm. the superhero. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I like Captain America, I like Batman, Superman mm -hmm. I love. Mm -hmm. But this guy, I just hated his guts so much. Well, that's his character. He's a dick. I don't know, but I just felt as if, okay, can you just stop being... No, I've read the comics, I know he's an ass, but mm -hmm. in the comics I feel as if he kind of progresses to being a better person mm -hmm. much sooner. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I don't know, I just didn't like his, his character. And the fact that there were no villains and the rest of the cast was just underused. And why did they have Rachel McAdams in a movie? <laughs> she was a love interest. Yeah, and that's but another she was thing. underused. Yeah, and that's another thing too with the love interest. I mean, I don't know, but if I was her, I, I, for those that have seen it, I could see why she didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No chemistry there. No chemistry. Yeah. So for me, what I did not like, I thought some of the movie was boring. 
Like, I literally wanted to go to sleep while he was learning how to use his magic. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I was, yeah, I was just like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm tired, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't see why they made the ancient one a white woman. I think they could, they really could have given it to an Asian man. Um, the Marvel Universe doesn't have that many Asian characters. And, I, you know, just give it to them. Well, maybe they're trying to be consistent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... The director, Scott Derrickson, I cannot stand his director. He did uh, The Exorcism, Exorcism of Emily Rose, The Day the Earth Stood Still, uh, Deliverance from Evil, and Sinister, which were all boring. I all wanted to go to sleep when I saw him. And when I heard he was directing this, I was like, couldn't they get somebody else? And maybe that's why some of this movie is boring, is because of him. Maybe that's just he likes to leave his footprint boring in movies. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm feeling like. But, yes, maybe. But overall... Um, it was entertaining. The visual effects were good. There were some good action sequences. I did laugh. Uh, I'm going to give it a B minus just because I was a little bored, you know, okay. in the movie. I was really thinking, do I give this a D plus or a C minus? Mm -hmm. After watching it, I was thinking C minus, but then on the way home, I was thinking D plus. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to stick with a D plus because we're talking Marvel here. Mm -hmm. We're not talking DC Comics. Mm -hmm. We're talking huge budget. We're talking great cast. Mm -hmm. You know, great CGI. But I think in the end, it was just mediocre. It was the same old tale over and over again. Yeah. You know, I just didn't believe it within like 20 minutes in the movie. All of a sudden, he becomes like a great sorcerer. It's like, mm -hmm. how does that happen? Well, I guess it's like, hey, we only got so much time. He's got to be a good sorcerer by the end. Yeah, but it's just like, but it's so corny. I think he might be the one we should... How, he, he, he will be the one to save us. It's garbage. <laughs> Don't go see this. Or watch it online if you want. It was entertaining. He's a little bit too hard on it. Yeah, D+. All right. And I'm being nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's all the time that we have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes. And let us know what you guys think. Drop mm -hmm. a comment at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if we missed something or if you uh, think differently, which I'm sure you will, mm -hmm. just let us know. And we will respond to all comments. All right. We'll see you guys next time.